Hello, welcome back to Crafty Leaks and a smart art box. Yay! I don't think we've opened one of these on this channel before. So we did a subscription about three months ago, I think it was, and um, decided to have a go because they are now posting from America to the UK. So that's really nice because, you know, I was getting a bit not fed up of the subscription boxes we get, but... You know, I wanted to try something different and this box was really, really, really good. As you can see, um, we've got some paintbrushes. Um, these were the, let's see if I can read it, the Princeton Refine Oil Brush. And then the fan one was uh, Princeton Ashley Fan. Then we had a pack of palette knives, um, which was, I think it was five, a pack of five. We had a nice little orange lollipop. And here's the Smart Art magazine, which gives you loads of little hints and tips and things on, you know, how to do, use the products that you get within the box. And those are really handy. And I'm enjoying the fact that the most of the subscription boxes are actually giving you these magazines because it's really helpful. Then we had some stickers, etc. And then the piece de resistance, which I've got to say is... You know, I was absolutely gobsmacked, was this big, massive box of oil colours. They were 24 colours and each tube was 12 millilitres. And, uh, you know, with oil paints, a little can go a long way. I've always noticed with acrylic paint, you always need to have the extra white. And later on, you see me doing the painting. I think it would have been nice if they'd have given us a bit of an extra size of white but that's just me being greedy because I like to use a lot of white in my painting. This is the first time that I've ever actually done oil painting, um, thought about it many times in the past, always been put off um, because it's not so much that they're expensive, it's just that it's frightening to try new products, you know, something you haven't done before but that's what's so good about smart art is they do tend to try and push you into using things that you might not have used before. And, you know, to be able to just sort of basically open the box and start, that is amazing. You know, that that's why I do really encourage people to try subscription boxes. I mean, we've got quite a few going at the moment. I'm going to have to give one or two of them up. Um, we get the Smart Art box, we get the scroller box, we get up crate and then we get the artful box every, I think it's three or four months. I can't remember now with the artful. Um, I was getting things like Sophie and Toffee and I was getting some stationary boxes in the past, but I had to give them up. But I don't think I'm going to give up smart art. Um, so I don't know which one I have to say goodbye to if, if, if I do, because I have to say Smart Art has, you know, the past three months, we haven't done a video on them before because I wanted to get to know how they, you know, what they put into their boxes, etc. before doing a video. So the first couple of months were a bit not private as such, but like, you know, I just wanted to open them, enjoy them, not worry about filming. And I have thoroughly enjoyed them. But this has got to be by far my favourite box. Like I said, I've never done oil. This is the first time I'm trying oil. I Basically, I was doing the same as what I would do with an acrylic paint. Um, it works slightly different. I mean, it's not excessively different when you do using the palette knives. Um, but it is different as in the drying times. Um you can't do one layer over the top of the other very quickly if you don't want to pick up from underneath. I mean, you can get some lovely effects by doing that. Um, for anybody that's watched Bob Ross, you, you know what I mean. Um, but, you know, it did work for me. But I had to wait the three days in between the first and the second layers um, to finish this picture. And it's been over a week and it is still slightly damp to the touch. But overall... It was a great experience. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, I encourage people to try new art supplies, maybe have a subscription box. You know, it's a good way of trying something new. So here's the finished piece. Um, it's still a bit shiny because obviously it's still wet. But it's going to take a few days to 
dry out. I think it'll take longer than that. Mm, probably. Yeah, so that's the picture that I drew. I, if I remember, mm -hmm. I will slip in a picture that I used as reference to give you an idea of what I was going for. Okay. Yeah, so the oils, like I said, I haven't got anything to compare them to. Um, a little bit like using acrylic, obviously, but it stays wetter for longer, so you get a bit of a mix. The biggest thing that we found was they hadn't given us any thinner, thinner um, cleaner for the brushes. So I'm going to have to go and buy some tomorrow so I can clean this brush because the brushes themselves are really good. But now I've got to clean them. I just put that in my hand. <laughs> um, yeah. The other thing is, if you notice the size of this brush yeah, and the size okay. of the canvas they gave us, you're not going to be doing detail. So I had to use, basically, I used the spatulas for most of the work. The spatulas. What are they called? Palette knives. Palette knives. For most of the work because I didn't have a fine enough brush. And, yeah, so I'm glad I've tried oils now. I can say they are really nice to work with. But I'm not a patient person. So I don't think I'm going to be doing much oil painting in the future because I like to get the next layer done as quick as possible whereas this one I guess there's been three days since I did my first layer and today now I've tried to do the second layer and I could probably do with more detail but that would leave it another few I days think you can add certain oils to make it dry faster yeah then. but with with what we were given but I'm not saying I'd never use them again I'm just not going to be it's not going to be my go-to <laughs> so thank you smart art for giving us a chance to have a go with oil paints and by the way we bought this yeah they didn't give us anything no no but they've by buying it they've given me and you a chance to use oil paints because i wouldn't have gone out and bought oil paints, oil paints. and uh, you this know seems like a good quantity for a good price yeah and the, they were good oils they weren't um oh, you wouldn't know the thicker oils well no but what i mean is you know when you've got a good acrylic and a bad acrylic and the good acrylic is thick and a bad acrylic is like runny, um, runny. You know, these oils were very thick. They went on. I wouldn't say they were opaque at all. Do you know what I mean? They were they were good. And if you can't tell, part of our, like, talking is that she forgets constantly words and I just have to fill in the blanks. <laughs> She's good at doing that. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you get a chance to have a go at using oil paints, I highly recommend it. And these paints in particular... I'm assuming I'm too expensive. I'll see if I can find out a price. I'll pop it up on the screen. And yeah, have a go yourself. And tag us if you do. And we'll see you next time on Crafty Lakes. Bye. Bye. Do you Bye. like her nails? This is a great thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the thumbnail. It's very good clickbait, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So let's try that again. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Crafty Leaks. Bye-bye.